After we assumed prone on elbow, if we examine this position, this is again a relatively stable position. Uh, we have large base of support and the center of mass is very close to the support surface. In this position, the patient is bearing weight through the upper trunk at the elbows with the elbows directly behind, uh, below the shoulder and the elbows flexed at 90 degrees. So the advantage of this position is early weight bearing through the upper extremity and the upper trunk. Um, when we did the hook flowing position, we were doing exercises focusing on the lower trunk. Here, we could do exercises focusing on the upper trunk. So we are separating the two segments. And this could be helpful for some patients with upper trunk weakness. In this position, we could do all the exercises we've done before, like for example, um, rhythmic stabilization and stabilizing reversal to promote stability. So if you want to do, um, let's say, uh, stabilizing reversals. Now I'm half kneeling next to the patient. Uh, hand placement is at the shoulders anteriorly. And I want you to try to lean forwards and down. Okay. Do the movement from your trunk, not from your head and neck. And keep breathing the whole time. And by the way, this might be an uncomfortable position for patients with um, a chest or respiratory problem because it's almost like prone position. Uh, so we have to be careful with that, especially that we cannot monitor the patient's facial expressions. Okay, so lean forward and keep breathing the whole time. Okay, and now I will switch my hand under the scapula and move up and back and then the other hand. Okay, forward again, forward. Backward and up. Okay, keep breathing. Forward and relax. The other PNF technique that could, we could use to promote stability in the position is rhythmic stabilization. Again, I could do it from the same um, the therapist position, or if the patient is big and I don't want to be leaning over the patient, we could do it with the leg um, leaning over the patient's body. So this way, I'm maintaining an upright posture relative to the patient while doing the resistance. And here, one hand is in front, one hand is behind, and the order is don't let me twist you. Okay, good job. Keep breathing the whole time. Now let's switch direction. Don't let me twist you. Keep breathing. Another time, switch. Don't let me twist you. And relax. 